The photogramma of creation is presented by the IBSA, the International Bible Students Association. Its aim is public instruction along religio-scientific lines and in defense of the Bible as the inspired word of God. Many claim that each of its parts is more helpful than a year in college, or the four parts equal to four years or more. We trust that this may prove to be so for everyone now present. As the motive of the enterprise, we reply that it is purely philanthropic. It is supported wholly by voluntary contributions, and these come from Bible students who themselves greatly benefited are desirous of passing the blessing on to other hearts and heads. Surely the value of an intelligent knowledge of God and the Bible is inestimable. The photogram of creation presents the seven days of creation as seven epochs, each 7,000 years long, and the seventh day as not yet complete. In this view, 1,000 years of the seventh day remain, during which Earth and her population will reach the grand perfection designed by the Creator. It is held that this final thousand years has already begun. To this fact is accredited the great progress of our day, intellectually and materially. In other words, the great seventh day of the Genesis account is itself a great week, each day of which is one thousand years long. The six already past have been man's work week of struggle against sin and death under the curse pronounced in Eden. Now the great Sabbath is beginning. It is it God has promised that the curse shall roll away from before the blessings of Messiah's kingdom, for which so long we have prayed, Thy kingdom come, and of which we have so often sung, as the sweet by and by. We have seen and heard part first of the photodrama of creation. We hope that as a result, our reverence for our great creator is increased. The Bible story of the fall of Father Adam under the curse or sentence of death may we never forget. The reign of sin and death and its bad influence even upon angels leading up to the deluge, we have fixed in our memory. God's oath-bound covenant with Abraham we have seen to be the basis of all resurrection hope. Our interest in God and in the Bible and in our fellows increases as we gain broader views of creation. It is for this reason that our patrons declare each part of the drama the best. Let us keep in memory the great Bible fact that creation is not yet complete. The completed creation will find our earth a paradise and filled with a perfect and happy human family in harmony with the Creator. Thereafter there shall be no more sin, sorrow, crying, or dying. The curse of death will have been rolled away by the Redeemer and the blessing of God will be upon all everlasting life. For all willful sinners will have been destroyed in the second death. Part second begins with Melchizedek, priest and king, the supposed builder of the great pyramid. It will show us Moses, God's typical dealings with typical Israel, the Exodus, crossing the Red Sea, giving of the Mount Sinai law, the manna, the tabernacle and its sacrifices and other wilderness experiences, the death and burial of Moses, Israel's crossing Jordan, Joshua's battle, Israel's king, Saul, David, Solomon, Solomon's temple, Elisha, Elijah, Israel's last king, Zedekiah, concluding with the beautiful and touching film, The Shunammite Son. It illustrates the divine power back of Messiah's coming kingdom when all in their graves shall be called forth and when sin and death will end.
real Bible study is only beginning. Heretofore, our reading and studies were hindered by our creeds. Now, nobody would think of defending any of the creeds. But as our faith in human creeds dies, our trust in the Bible as divine increases because we understand it better. In the second century, the mistake was made of proclaiming apostolic bishops of equal authority with those twelve chosen by our Lord. Bibles were costless. You could read. It was natural that the people should accept the teachings of the apostolic bishops without proving their doctrine for the Bible. As a result, there was no Bible study for 1,400 years. No wonder the faith once delivered to the saints was lost. Now we are returning to the Bible. The present Pope urges all Catholics to study the Bible and warns all against modernism, higher criticism. After so long neglect of the Bible, it is not strange that the fifth and covering of the creed still gives us trouble. Errors and superstitions die hard. Part third will help us to a broader view of the Bible's message. As our heads get straight, may our hearts respond loyally to God and his truth. Part third shows us the ending of the typical kingdom of Israel to be overturned until the antitypical kingdom of Messiah will be ushered in. It outlines the period of Gentile dominion to its close. It shows us Messiah in free human honor and glory as the Logos, the Word or Messenger of God, and onward to his resurrection. The poet has well said, wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the dear, my father loves me. When we realize that the great almighty God is the friend of his creatures, it gives us confidence in him, and we desire to address him, our father in heaven. How interesting to know that he has the world's affairs in his charge and that the reign of sin and death will soon be overthrown by Messiah's kingdom. I invite you to rest mind and body by rising and singing together the beautiful words, Sing them over again to me. Wonderful words of light. Let me more of their beauty sing. Wonderful words of light. The remainder of part third is deeply interesting. The teachings, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Truly, never man speaks like this man. He yet speaks to us all. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yea, and the hour is coming when all shall be privileged to hear his blessed message. All the blind eyes shall be opened, and all the mentally deaf ears shall be unstopped. Wear your peace in. Show it to your friends. Tell them what it means. Invite them to see this drama. All are welcome. Ask why we do not list collections. We reply, the gospel is free. Nowhere in the Bible are we authorized to solicit money in God's name. Freely we have received, freely we give to others. Yeah. <laughs>